Here we go, boys. Who's the new killer gonna be? Right. It's cold getting to me. Not cold. Hey, people. To school. No, that's not. That's not. Sirens. They did it. No way. They convinced Konami of this? Oh my god. Oh my god. They actually pulled this off. Holy shit. What you guys just saw was me shitting my pants over the new killer in Dead by Daylight. I don't know how Behaviour have done it, but they've managed to strike it, uh, a deal with the devil, also known as Konami, to um, merge the world of DBD with the world of Silent Hill. Now, um, I have the PTB on PC, but um, unfortunately my PC is more equivalent to that of a potato than a desktop. Uh, so obviously, because I can't play this game, uh, record it on the PC because my computer might explode. You're gonna you're gonna get footage of uh, what is was arguing my least fucking favorite killer. I fucking hate this little shit. So unfortunately, you guys aren't gonna get any footage, but I am gonna take today's um, video to talk about Pyramid Head and how I feel about him and how his power works and everything because you're definitely going to be seeing me using him a lot in the DVD series. Um, so first thoughts, holy shit. He's amazing. From an artistic standpoint, he looks brilliant. He, um, from a presence standpoint, he has one of the biggest sort of presences out of all the killers in the game. Um, being around him, hearing that music, it's so off-putting and creepy. And it, it really gets to you as a survivor. And it's just, it's nice to have a killer that genuinely fills you with fear when you, like, hear their melody. And like behavior have done such a good job with the design of this killer and everything in terms of atmosphere now moving on we're going to look at the power so pyramid head's power and believe me this is a, this is a long ass power um is called the right of judgment it comes in um three stages so there's the right of judgment itself there's the punishment of the damned and there is the torment trial now um the way this works is that Pyramid Head can leave a trail behind him. Now, um, the way that this works is that survivors stepping into this trial will suffer from the new effect known as Cursed. Now, upon walking through it, the killer instinct will flash, notifying Pyramid Head that the survivors have walked through it, and also suffers from the curse. Now, if the survivor indeed is cursed, this means that Pyramid Head, instead of having carrying them to a hook, can send them directly and straight to a Cage of Torment. Now, the Cage of Torment is very much like a hook in the fact that um, you can't do anything. You can't even attempt to escape. You just kind of have to wait in it and deal with it, to put it lightly. And honestly, it is, um, it's good, but I get the fact that, to, and therefore to balance it, you have to go and be tormented. So, Pyramid Head is mainly about setting up traps, and we're going to talk more about this later, about, because uh, I've been using him in the PTB, what I feel is the best thing to do with him, where's the best to trap with his ability, when's it best to try and go for Cage of Torments or just standard hooks, when is it best to use the Punishment of the Damned, which is the range attack. Um, but we're going to get into that in a minute. We're just going to continue talking about the tra uh, the trail and how it works. So, upon being cursed, survivors get a visual effect. And they leave um, small barbed wire trails behind them. They, they, now, they disappear very quickly. But sometimes it can be all you need to help maybe track a survivor. Because sometimes it actually catches them out even when they're using stuff like Dance With Me to counteract scratch marks. Because you'll turn around and be like, oh, where did they go? And then you'll just see a hit of the barbed wire going around the corner. And then you can still continue to follow them. So, there's that trail. And then also, whilst in um, his power, Pyramid Head can create a sort of line forward in front of him. That shoots up like these metal pipes. And um, they can injure survivors and put them into the dying state if they're injured. Or send them into the injured state if they're fully healed. Now, this thing can hit through walls, windows, pallets, you name it, 
it can hit through it. The, and it honestly is probably the most quintessential part of Pyramid Head's kit. Because Pyramid Head hate like Pyramid Head can destroy loops. He, he can make loops absolutely null and void from the way that he works. But it does require a little bit of reads and leading and um you know, generally figuring out what you expect your opponent will do. And upon doing that, you need to understand that um, when doing so, there's a little bit of a charge time. And you and the survivor will see the line that the um, attack will go through. So it's more about baiting survivors into doing it. Or if they're going for a pallet or window and you know, and you 100% know that's what they're going to do activate the power because you can usually catch them out as they're vaulting a pallet or vaulting a window um so we've talked about the trials we've talked about the cage of judgment uh, the cage of torment we've talked about the ranged attack now pyramid head does something very special um you don't even need to take an ebony mori in with this guy because he just kills survivors um upon if a survivor is tormented and they are on the struggle phase on hook, so they're on the last phase. If you're going to put them on the hook and they die, you can just instantly mori the survivor then and there. You don't, you don't need to even send them to the cage torment, you just kill them outright. Pyramid Head seems to be a time saving killer in the right hands. He's got a range attack, which means loops don't last as long. He's got um, an automatic hook, which means it saves uh, hook travel times. Um, it just It just kind of. Um, you know, he seems to be very much a time saver killer. Like he is designed to work around the clock and not have to deal with a lot of the other stuff that killers deal with, wasting time so survivors can get judge uh, get generators done. So now that that's out of the way, we are going to look at the um, what I'd believe to be the weaknesses of uh, the Triangle Boy, as we're going to be calling him. Um, tracking. Um, uh, if you can't get survivors cursed, tracking is going to be your probably your biggest weakness, I'd say. Primarily because it's hard to keep track of survivors when stuff like corn or close court, uh, small quarters maps get involved. Like Pyramid Head works really well in indoor maps, and especially in his, on his own map, he works very well. Because a lot of the corridors are just straight lines where he can use his power just to completely n um, duke survivors out. But, yeah, tracking, tracking, I'd say, is his biggest weakness. If, you, if you're going to take Pyramid Head, I recommend taking something, just uh, any kind of tracking. But Whispers is my go-to, and I use Whispers a lot because um, it helps me tend to know if it's uh, in, if it's a good idea to stay in the air, if it's a good idea to move on. Um, barbecue's always nice. Um, Discordance is always a good one because if you're smart enough and you combine it with maybe a smaller Terror Radius perk, you can catch survivors off guard by hitting them with the punishment of the damned. It's just like, it's it's primarily the good idea with Pyramid Head is just to get tracking. Tracking is what you need and maybe one gen slowdown perk because it, it doesn't suffer in the chase. He, he really does not suffer in the chase. If, if you can use him. He's very much um, skill dependent. He's very much read dependent. He's very much Huntress-like where you have to kind of bait your survivors into falling for your mouse to attack. But he lacks tracking and um, a bit of map pressure as well because he hasn't got anything that increases his movement or makes him go faster or anything like that. He's, you know, he's, he's a very base killer when it comes to stats like base movement, base terror radius, base lunge, everything. Um, now the weakness is out of the way, um, how I recommend you play him? Very simple. Um, you want to be trapping loops. Like, the best loop that I've found to trap in DVD with this power is, honestly, it's the Killer Shack. Pyramid, like, if you're trying to get survivors into the damn state, herd them to the Killer Shack, because Pyramid Head destroys Killer Shack loops. His power can hit through walls, his, um... Trail basically means that if, if you're looping survivors, they go, they've got to run into it if they're going in the killer shacks. It's such an enclosed space. Pyramid Head rocks buildings and close quarters maps. He's going to be he's good on Larry's. He's good on the school. He's going to be good. Um, oh crap, what's the other end of that? The game. He's going to be good on the game as well. Pyramid Head is going to be good on small close quarters maps because his power is short range. 
but it's not limited by what is directly in front of him. Kind of like the old nurse, and still nurse currently, but she's not as good. But in the right hand, Pyramid Head, I believe, is easily going to be high tier. Not sure about top. I will leave that to the more professional of the DVD community because, you know, I'm just a small YouTube channel that's picked up DVD as my main running series. But overall, he's definitely going to be high tier. His power is good. Um, it's definitely he's definitely a time saver. It's all about getting the mechanical um, skill necessary to pull off a lot of the things you can do with his power, like reading survivors, getting them to run into it, getting them to fall for it. Um, it you know, it, it's it's all right, and um, it's pretty good nonetheless. Now, if I was to sit there and be like. Um, what would I say that might need to be done to change him is I'd say um, if anything I don't really think he needs changing I, th I think he's okay at the moment I'd say maybe um, yeah we need a bit more information on how the trail works because sometimes it disappears and sometimes it stays and admittedly it's probably just me being a dumbass and not understanding how it works properly but um, yeah info on that would be nice behaviour just to give us a little more explanation on how it works but, uh, yeah, I just believe that he's a good killer. He's really good. Anyway, thank you all for watching. That has been today's video on the Triangle Boy, also known as Pyramid Head, also known as the Executioner. I hope you guys all enjoyed today's video. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. If you guys want me to do more profiles on the killers, I will gladly do that. I love talking about this game, and I love sharing it with you guys. Um, be expecting the next episode in the road to rank 1 probably next week and maybe a survivor video down the line if we're lucky anyway don't forget to like comment subscribe take care everyone stay safe uh, protect the NHS and all that jazz it's been the Ginger Gamer and as always I will see you in the next one